Good morning, everyone. Today we are actually trying to go through the process of how to make a transaction within Shopify POS with the implementation of multi locations. So, you know, the first thing that you need is your Shopify POS pin. You're going to go through the screen and log into your Shopify POS app that you do every morning. Uh, let's go ahead and try that. All right, here we go. Okay, once we log in, you guys are already familiar with this screenshot. You'll have more products to your left. This is a test site, so you just have one specific product that I have input for our test. Uh, you will notice to your bottom left-hand side of the screen, you see that there is a location address. So all the quantities and products that you see here are what is physically at this location. So if you were to actually change the location and you need to know how to do that, the first thing you do is click on store. Once you click on store, go to locations, select the new location that you're currently based out of, say 2053 Fillmore, and then you're gonna click on switch. Once the switch happens, it processes all the information and you hit on launch store. And boom, if you see this location on the bottom left hand screen, you would see it is 2053 Fillmore, San Francisco. Say you're from Maiden Lane, click on store again, go back to locations, select 125 Maiden Lane, and click on switch. And boom there you go your location has been updated so if you notice that the quantities that you saw earlier on the left hand side was different from the other store so let's check that again so right now you see test product you click on that you see black 44 47 and heather 30 units when you click further on it you would see what sizes are available so let's just have a look at this black test product that we have, where we have 25 in small and 19 in medium. This is what's physically at the location 125 Maiden Lane, San Francisco. This is only test quantities, by the way. These are not the final uploaded quantities. So now let's go and change the location. And let's select 2053 Fillmore and switch to San Francisco, launch, and boom, you have 25 in small and 25, 20 in medium. So the quantities, this is the only way to actually check quantities available in each of the stores. And I would strongly recommend that before you guys process any order, check the location first. That's very important. If you are fulfilling any product from within the store, your home location from where you're processing should be your default location on the bottom left-hand screen. And the next step would be adding products. So if I'm fulfilling a product from 2053 Ful Fillmore, say I'm gonna use the uh, medium size. Currently I have 20 units. I'm gonna add the units and say, select the customer, I'm gonna to go to customer two, and then uh, for the test purposes, I'm gonna give a 100% discount. If you guys didn't know uh, already, this is another tip. If you know the code that's applied for each of the discount, you just type in the code and say apply. It should apply the 100% discount, okay? And then the next step that is very important is clicking on this little three little dots that you see on the right hand side of your iPad you select it as mark is fulfilled the two things that you need to always remember the location and whether it is marked fulfilled or not anytime you're fulfilling any units from within the store it default has to be marked as fulfilled okay I'll repeat that again. Any units fulfilled from within the store has to be marked as fulfilled. 
Okay, now let's go ahead and process this and click on charge. Completing checkout. Complete the order. And the order has been processed. Okay, now let's go back to inventory. Here you go. Now you have only 19 units left under the medium. We started with 20 and it deducted 19 units left over. So next, let's process an order that is not fulfilled by the store. The first step you need to remember is the location. Since you're not fulfilling it from the Fillmore location, you need to change that location to Pixar. Pixar is our distribution center from where it gets shipped out of. So you're gonna switch to that distribution center, launch the location, and then you're gonna select the product. Medium is 18 units currently in stock. I'm gonna add one unit, select the customer, customer one, and then I'm gonna add a discount code. I'm gonna put the code in here and say apply. And then the most important thing, the second step is checking, marking it as unfulfilled because you're not fulfilling it, it has to be fulfilled out of the distribution center. So remember to mark it as fulfilled when the location is Pixior Vernon. And then you're ready to process the order, charge, and then you're completing the checkout. And complete order, and you're done. So let's go back to the inventory. If you see, medium, we started with 18 units, it reduced to 17 units. This is because there's one less unit available to ship out of the product because the distribution center will complete the fulfillment. So there are only two things you need to remember, location and whether it is marked fulfilled or not. These are the absolute important steps that you need to follow to complete 